everyone, welcome to another problem solving session. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys that the best way to support this channel and my desire to bring uh, high quality lessons to you at no cost is to hit that like and subscribe button. So let's jump right in. Today we're going to be solving a question on net present value, specifically in a cash flow estimation context where you're given um, a project, an investment, and we're going to be solving this question using the straight line method of depreciation instead of the CCA method, which is where you're given a class and a percentage. So this uh, question will cover the straight line method. So pause the video, try and solve the question yourselves, and then watch me solve it. Okay, let's jump in. So this project has an initial investment of $60,000. We can see that uh, right over here. And additional raw materials of 3,000. That would be the networking capital. Shipping and installation costs are 1,800, so that'll be part of our capital costs. So let's start writing things down. The capital cost, the asset itself, will cost 60,000 plus 1,800. So that's 61,800. The change to our networking capital at the onset of the project is 3,000. So, so we're not only paying $61,800 for the asset, we're also paying $3,000 for the networking capital. It's estimated that the project would generate after tax cash flows of 9,000 for six years. So that means your CFBT times one minus tax, the cash flows after tax are $9,000 every year for six years. The salvage value is 5,000 and we're going to use the straight line method. So let's calculate CCA. This depreciation would be 61,800 minus your salvage value, divided by the life of the project, which I believe they said was six. So the annual depreciation on this would be 9,466.67, which will now multiply by tax to get the tax shield. So I'll multiply 9,466.67 by the tax rate of 40%. So the annual cash flow is $3,786.67. Okay, now time to put it all together. The first thing is going to be to find the present value of the annual cash flows. Now, since we know that our operating cash flow is 9,000 and the tax shield is $3,786.67, the annual cash flow is $12,786.67. And it'll be the same every year. So we're going to solve this as an annuity. We'll set this into our financial calculators as the payment. With an N of six, cost of capital is 10%. No future value. And we're going to compute the present value. So I've got my financial calculator here. We'll enter 12,786.67 as the payment, 6N10IY, zero FV, compute PV. I get $55,689.28. That is the present value of my annual cash flows. Now we can put it all together. The net present value will be that number, the present value of the annual cash flows, plus the present value of our ending cash flow. Actually, we didn't do that. The present value of our ending cash flow, first we're going to have to find the ending cash flow, which is the salvage value plus any recovery of networking capital. If we look back at the question, Salvage value was 5,000 and the working capital was 3,000. So our ending cash flow is $8,000. And we're going to divide that by one plus the discount rate to the power of six to find its present value. So the present value is $4,515.79. So we'll add that into find net present value. And we're going to subtract the initial cash flow, which was 61,800. So we get a net present value here of negative 1,594 and 93 cents, which means this project is not profitable and therefore should be rejected. So that's it for the video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you were able to get the right answer. If you didn't, leave me a question in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you at the next video.